So I'm finally doing it. I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Been talking with people about this for a while, uh, and I think now's the right time. So I'm going to start producing some video content, mostly about Compose, uh, both live streamed and edited short form content. Stick around and I'll tell you what I have in mind. So for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Leland Richardson. I'm a software engineer at Google. I work on the Android team on the new UI toolkit, Jetpack Compose. I was one of the first employees on the project. I, I started on it uh, almost three years ago now. More specifically, I work on the compiler and runtime. It's like kind of an interesting time to do this. We, we've got this backdrop of the pandemic. Uh, a lot of us have been spending a lot of time at home, not as much social interaction. And the, the whole idea of conferences is kind of uh, changing, right? I, we, we've got all of these online conferences now in light of the pandemic. And through all of this, one of the things that I've been wanting is a little bit more of that social interaction. And so the, the idea of live streaming and just sort of having a lower bar for preparing content, but still having good content and talking about Compose and being able to have that social interaction with other people, join, joining in on the channel and just asking questions and, and talking, uh, that, that sounds really appealing to me. So to start off, the platforms I'm going to target are YouTube, Twitch, and Periscope. I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch and Periscope and also YouTube, and then I'm going to be doing some probably some some short form edited videos on, on YouTube that I'll be posting every now and then as well. Uh, for the live streaming content specifically, um, I, I'm thinking of breaking it down sort of into three different sections. So the, the first section would be the me working on the compiler. Uh, I work on the compiler and runtime of Compose on a daily basis. And there'll be certain projects that I think will be really interesting to certain people. There's really not a lot of content out there about the compiler. It's more of an internal detail of Compose, but there are a lot of people that are interested in it. For those people, this would be a, a useful primer. My plan right now is for the schedule of this content to, to be every Wednesday and Friday. And I'll be streaming both in the morning. So like, uh, uh, times that would be both U.S. and Europe, Middle East, Asia friendly times, um, as well as sometimes at night. There's a, a real big compiler project that I'm going to start working on in, in the next week that I think people find pretty interesting. It has to do uh, with inferring stable and immutable types in the compiler and how we'll, we'll handle that. So the next section of content I'm, I'm kind of calling dog fooding. As someone who works on Compose directly, I, I feel like it's my responsibility to really try out Compose and try building things with Compose um, and really starting to understand where the pain points are if you're actually using Compose as a user. Honestly, I feel like I haven't done a good enough job of this yet. Uh, and so one of the reasons that I'm excited about the idea of live streaming is that this this kind of gives me a reason or a motivation to to dog food regularly. If, if you're not familiar with the term dog food, um, it's basically, it means when, when someone tries out their own product as, as a user. I'm actually really curious if people have any suggestions on, on what types of things I, I, I could build it. Um, if you have any suggestions, leave it below in the comments. So for instance, I found this, uh, this like movie app design on Dribbble, uh, which I think has a lot of interesting interactions. There's this app for boat rentals that has a lot of interesting navigational animation this bank app with with uh, this card and, and some basic interactions there. I thought this tab bar just had like a, you know, some really interesting, you know, subtle hints to it. This project management app, I, I think has a lot more of the, the typical UI that you would build for an app. Um, same with here, this, this fitness app. This had some really interesting navigational animations that, that I think could be cool to try and, and prototype and, and see how we could do. And then this, I, I've actually, I've seen other UIs with this sort of like gooey, uh, water-like physics-based UI. And, and I, 
I, I think that that's really cool. And I, I just kind of want to see if we can we can build something like that. Uh, but those just give you a few ideas of, of like the kind of challenging, interesting, uh, really design focused UIs that um, I really want to stress Compose to see if we can build build these things. It may not be easy. It may not be a one liner, but these types of things end up being like the, um, you know, the canary in a coal mine for, oh, OK, we did the wrong thing or we did the right thing. So the last section of content that, that I'd like to do is, is pair programming. Uh, I'd like to live stream me kind of working with other people. I've got a few ideas for, for people that, that uh, we might bring on. Uh, if you know Gabriel Peel, uh, he's a maintainer of the Airbnb Mavericks framework and also the Lottie uh, framework. We, we've been talking recently about using Lottie in Compose and, and what that might look like and, and also using Mavericks with Compose and, and what that might look like. And so I, I think uh, at the very least in the, in the next week or so, uh, him and I will be doing a few live streams together and I'm really interested in, in kind of what what people you think would be uh, good to have on the show. I, I think that that I'm really interested in meeting new people and and getting varied opinions um, and points of view on on how Compose impacts them and, and how they want to use it. Um, so if you have any ideas for, for guests that I could have on, uh, let me know in the comments. And, uh, and that's about it. That's my plan. So if, if this kind of content sounds interesting to you, please subscribe. Uh, subscribe on YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, let me know if there's, there's types of things that you'd really like me to cover um, in, in really any of these streams of content. And um, yeah, I'll see you around.